Now that we have .NET Nuke installed into the Visual Studio, we can go ahead and create our first modules. Actually, creating the modules is pretty simple. It's even easier to do it wrong, which is why you need to watch this video. Uh, assuming you've got your .NET project open, right-click on the project folder. That's this folder right here, um, top-level item. We're going to right-click that and then choose Add New Item. Select .NET Nuke Dynamic Module and give it a module name. We're going to call ours DMV Sample. And the language is going to be Visual C Sharp. And we're going to let that run and it's going to create all of our directories for us. And you'll see there's a couple things that we need to fix up. So we're going to go rename the module name directory under App Code to DMV Sample. Go up here. App code, there's module name, and we're just going to rename that quickly to DMV sample. And under desktop modules, we want to rename that module name directory. So let's go back down here to desktop modules. Don't need that one, module name, we'll rename this here. to DMV sample. And then because we're working uh, with C sharp, we need to add this code subdirectories, uh, DMV sample directory, uh, into our web config file. So I'm going to, there should already be a, a code subdirectories uh, element in our web config, so I'm just going to copy out the uh, directory that we need to deal with there. And scroll down here. There's our app code directory. There's already the HTML one in there. This is because .NET Nuke uses a code behind for the HTML now. And there's our DMV sample. Right. And that'll just allow that to build as a separate DLL. Uh, this is how you can actually do mixed uh, VB and C sharp coding uh, within your same uh, VB application, as long as uh, the all your C sharp files are all within one directory, uh, are all within one se uh, several different directories. Uh, you can do this. Let's uh, we got that saved. Let's just scroll down here. See if there's anything else. Nope, that's it. So if we've done everything correctly here, we should be able to build this. And there everything's been built for us and we can go ahead and uh, continue on. So tomorrow we'll go ahead and actually uh, install this new module that we've created uh, into the .NET Nuke system so that we can actually see them show up on our page.